The first five books of the Bible make up what is called the Law of Moses, or in Hebrew it's called the Torah. The rabbis say that there are 613 commandments in the Torah. There are commandments that deal with worship, prohibitions regarding idolatry, and also instructions for proper worship of God. There are commandments that deal with ethics, like prohibitions on murder and theft and so on. There are commandments that deal with getting along in society, instructions to set up courts for administering justice, uh, and commandments regarding charity and so on. There is the positive commandment to get married, and prohibitions against adultery and all kinds of sexual immorality. There are dietary laws, there are instructions regarding festivals and other religious rituals. So the question is, should Christians obey the commandments in the Torah? To find out, let's look a little closer. Actually, no one person, whether Jewish or Gentile, is obligated to keep all 613 commandments. Commandments regarding the priesthood, the temple, and the sacrificial system do not necessarily apply to anyone today. That is to say, until these things are legitimately restored, the commandments associated with them cannot be literally observed. Also, any commandment that is directly tied to the land of Israel do not necessarily apply to those living outside of the land of Israel. Along those same lines, certain commandments that have civil or judicial ramifications, like capital punishment, have no application without a legitimate Sanhedrin. There are some commandments in the Torah that are specifically and directly given to the Jewish people. The Sabbath, for example, though it existed from creation, was given to Israel to act as a sign of the covenant God made with them. Circumcision also serves this purpose. Other commandments, such as the kosher laws and the festivals, were also uniquely given to Israel. As an aside, this doesn't mean that non-Jews cannot observe these commandments, it just means that these commandments were given directly as the obligation of the Jewish people. In any event, there are commandments that deal with idolatry, blasphemy, sexual immorality, murder, theft, the setting up of courts, and more, and these apply to all people, regardless of your ethnicity or your location in the world. Complicated, isn't it? So on the one hand, the answer to the question, should Christians keep the Torah, is complex. And work needs to be done to find out which commandments directly apply to you in your particular life situation. However, the simple answer to the question, should Christians keep the Torah, is, of course. Jesus said in Matthew 5.19 that in order to be great in the kingdom of God, you must keep the commandments of the Torah and teach others to do the same. Not keeping the commandments and teaching others to also not keep the commandments will make you least in the kingdom of heaven. Paul said in Romans 7 that the commandments of the Torah define for us what is and is not sin, and that the commandments are holy, righteous, and good. He said in Romans 8 that those who are not led by the Spirit do not keep the Torah, and in fact they are not even able to do so. This is because those who keep the Torah are the ones who are led by the Spirit. Indeed, Paul said in Romans chapter 2 that it is not the hearers of the Torah who are justified before God, but the doers of the Torah. And this is because, as he said in Romans 3.31, faith upholds the Torah. Furthermore, in Acts 15, we read that the apostles convened to decide whether or not Gentile believers had to convert to become legally Jewish in order to be saved. The conclusion was that Gentiles do not need to convert to Judaism in order to be saved. However, the apostles' instructions to the Gentiles was not to go off and start a new religion, but to have them conform to certain Jewish community standards, allowing them to congregate in the synagogues on the Sabbath to hear the Torah read. The strong implication being that Torah observance was not a requirement for salvation, but it was the path for sanctification and discipleship. So whether you're Jewish or Gentile, the goal is to learn God's commandments and obey those that apply to you. As Paul taught in 1 Corinthians 7, 19, when it comes to being a believer, being Jewish doesn't matter, but also being Gentile doesn't matter. What matters is keeping God's commandments. For more videos, click on the subscribe link below or visit youtube.com slash messianicniagara and you can click on the subscribe link there. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash messianicniagara. 
You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash messianicniag. Email us at contact at messianicniagara.com. And as always, please visit our website, messianicniagara.com. There you can click on the donate link and you can send us any amount. Financially supporting us will continue to allow us to uh, provide free content on the website and on this YouTube channel. So please share these videos with others. Thank you for your support.